the first conference USA win of FIU Zara of coach Butch Davis likely wouldn't have happened had it not been for a four-play goal line stand. FIU, 2-1, 1-0, defeated host Rice 13-7 late Saturday night after the Panthers' defense stood tall on these four plays in the final two minutes. On first down from the FIU 9-yard line, Panthers safety Nico Gonzalez stuffed a Rice running back for no gain. On second down, FIU outside linebacker Sage Lewis stopped a running play for a 2-yard loss. On third down, defensive lineman Anthony Johnson negated yet another running play, this one for no gain. And, on fourth down, Rice quarterback Jackson Tyner, under heavy pressure from the pass rush, threw high and incomplete, virtually clinching the win for FIU. That was clearly the best our defense has played in our first three games, Davis said. Rice uses so many unbalanced lines, motions and window dressing, our kids had to communicate before every play. FIU, which will play host to conference rival Charlotte, 0-4-0-0, on Saturday at 7 p.m., forced tries to punt six times. And senior defensive back Brad Mohammed, a former walk-on who was put on scholarship last month, came up with the first interception of his career. Rice converted just 5 of 15 on third down and was held to 2.4 yards per rush, 41 carries, 100 yards. FIU defensive lineman Newt Salisbury and Jermaine Sheriff each came up with the sack. As usual, FIU's two senior linebackers led in tackles. Middle linebacker Anthony went out a game high 10 stops, including one for a loss, and outside backer Trey Van Williams had nine tackles two for losses. Special teams also played a big role in FIU's win, especially redshirt freshman kicker Jose Borregales, who went 2 for 2, converting on field goals of 44 and 37 yards. In addition, kickoff specialist Sean Young produced touchbacks on two of his three kicks. On his other kick, Rice's returner was tackled after just a 15-yard run. And Stone Wilson averaged 40.5 yards on four punts giving up a total of just five return yards.